Dearly beloved, just for a moment, I want you to take time to gaze around you. Gaze around at all your surroundings, everything that you possess right where you're at right now. Then I want you to think about all the possessions that you have that is outside of where you can see at this moment. Then I want you to take time to think about all the possessions that everyone own upon this earth. Everything that has been made, developed, created by the hands of man. Dearly beloved, I want you to think about the significance that you and I give to those things. And I want you to see and hear what the Word of God says in 2 Peter, the third chapter, uh, and the 11th verse. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation or conduct and in godliness. Dearly beloved, the Word of God tells us that all these things that we see shall ultimately be dissolved or destroyed. That everything that we put our eyes on, everything that we see and we possess will ultimately just be destroyed. And so the Lord says, seeing that you know that these things will ultimately be destroyed, and I don't believe that many of us believe that these things will ultimately be destroyed, but according to God's word, they all will be dissolved. So he said, if that's going to be dissolved, everything that is around you, he wants us to focus on that which is important, that which is everlasting, and that is the soul's of men and women and children. That's what's everlasting. Now the word says, what manner of persons ought we to be in all our conversations and godliness? Are we living a godly life? Are we telling people that we are believers and then living any way that we want to? Are we not realizing that ultimately everything will be destroyed and that it will uh, come before judgment before the Lord Jesus Christ on His return? So the Word of God is explicitly telling us and sharing with us that we ought to be walking in what? Holy conversation and godliness. Our conversation ought to be pure before God and man. There should be no, uh, 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 um, no what one might call gray area in the conversations that we have with individuals. We ought not say that we are a believer and then have the ability to speak dirty jokes or to make uh, uh, illicit passes at women or men who are not our spouses. According to God's word, He's calling us to live a godly life. That means that we ought not be living in fornication or adultery or doing things that is outside the will of the living God because we are anticipating and we are waiting the coming of the Lord uh, Jesus Christ but according to God's Word we need to recognize and realize amen that our conversation needs to have a pattern of godliness in this earth that it might represent Christ in the way they so desire to be represented in this earth. God bless you. Jesus, come quickly.